Goal 11, Public Transportation. I'm Cindy Garcia. I'm Matt Pia. And I'm RJ Reynoso, and this is our presentation on our goal, our UN goal. So our research questions for our project were, to what extent is Los Angeles making public transportation safe and reliable? And how does Cal Poly Pomona compare to LA in regards to public transportation and making it safe? So as for introduction, we basically just researched how LA supported transportation during the pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic from last year and this year. And we also compared how LA, the safety guidelines and how reliable it is for public transportation and how that compares to Cal Poly, basically in a sense that what other options are available to people that need that public transportation or just do their own. And we also conducted a survey for students to better understand how they commute to Cal Poly and where they commute from in a sense that it's comparing LA transit and the Cal Poly transit. So this is the survey we had constructed for our project. Our questions were as follows. Do you commute to campus? How do you commute to and from Cal Poly? What area are you coming from to get to school? And as optional questions, we ask for demographics such as gender, age, race, and ethnicity. So obviously here, you have a lot of people commuting to campus and the majority being driving. With all of our areas that people come from right here, and over here is where we get into the demographic area of our survey. Um, we have a lot of males that responded compared to females, the female audience. But on the other hand, uh, the majority of our survey was taken by those that are 18 years old with some 17, 19, all the way up to 50, 40. And our race and ethnicity was a little bit of everything. Um, so mainly Hispanic. Hispanic was the number one race and ethnicity that had taken it with Asian, African American, people from East Asia, Mexican, white, Hispanic, just a little bit of everything that had taken our survey in order to see how this contributes to transportation in LA and Cal Poly. The results allowed us to see what form of transportation was the most popular while noting other factors such as those living on campus. Over half of the participants drove themselves or were dropped off and picked up. The biggest form of public transportation was the bus for those on and off campus students. The most popular locations these students were coming from were Pomona, Laverne, La Puente, and Covina. We also had locations like San Jose, San Diego, and the desert. To better understand the forms of transportation that Cal Poly Pomona has to offer, um, we used an article from the Poly Post that discusses them. One new transportation program that um, the university offers for its students is the Class Pass, and that's basically like a bus pass that's available to all students that um, gives them free rides on the local foothill transit buses throughout the semester. Um, to encourage more people to bike and to keep them safe in the process, um, CPP added designated bike lanes on um, Kellogg Drive. Uh, these transportation programs and the variety of transportation uh, methods that Cal Poly students have access to has led to a more sustainable community. And these were just two of many options of transportation that the university offers and their programs have made their options accessible at discounted prices. Not only in just LA, but all around the United States, many guidelines have been taken into action in regards of being sanitary on public transit. Cal Poly Pomona has made drastic changes in 2021 to provide a variety of transportation options for their students and to keep them safe in the process. Um, the Class Pass, Bronco Express Shuttle, parking permits, and new bike lanes are all examples of progress towards more safe and reliable transportation. In conclusion, Cal Poly and LA have made safe transportation options that are necessary for those without a car or those who do not have someone to drop them off.